Several concepts from law and psychology influence rights in the employment relationship, including employment at will, wrongful or constructive discharge, just cause, due process, and organizational justice. Organizational justice is fairness of decisions and resource allocations in an organization. Employees' perceptions of fairness and justice in the workplace influence their attitudes and behaviors. The elements of organizational justice are explained in the following sections. Let's take a look. Individual perceptions of fairness or justice in the workplace depend on at least three different types of assessments. The process of decision making, the actual decisions made, and how the decision is explained to employees. The first factor, procedural justice, focuses on whether the procedures that lead to an action were appropriate and clearly understood and whether they provided an opportunity for employee input. Procedural justice is the perceived fairness of the processes used to make decisions about employees. In other words, are the rules fair and fairly applied to everyone? Due process is a key part of procedural justice when making promotion, pay, discipline, and other HR decisions. Second, people obviously prefer favorable outcomes for themselves. They decide the favorability of their outcomes by comparing them with the outcomes of others given their relative situations. This decision involves the concept of distributive justice, which is the perceived fairness in the distribution of outcomes. Disciplinary action based on favoritism, when some are punished and others are not, would likely be viewed as unfair. Fairness depends on employee perceptions and is ultimately a subjective determination. Interactional justice is the extent to which a person affected by an employment decision feels treated with dignity and respect. Is an adequate explanation provided to explain the decision? Is the employee treated consistently and professionally? Employees who feel that they have not been treated fairly may respond in a number of ways, sometimes even counterproductively. Organizations may improve perceptions of justice by providing procedures to deal with employee complaints. In union-free firms, the complaint procedures differ from those for unionized employees, who typically have a formal grievance procedure specified in their union contract. Due processes in union-free firms are more varied and may address a broader range of issues. Many employers use an open-door policy, which allows workers who have a complaint to talk directly to someone in management. However, this policy can be mishandled, so union-free firms benefit from having formal complaint procedures that are well-defined to provide a more systematic due process for employees than do open-door policies.